Hello everyone, I had an interesting question here regarding Betty White and I'll go right to the question here. It says, hi Lynn, thank you for sharing your gift with us. I have a question about Betty White. After her passing, I came across some comments that her father was Aleister Crowley and her sister is Barbara Bush. They also said that she was a Satanist. Do you see any truth to any of this? Also regarding Betty White, there was a post that she died from the shot. Her camp is that denying. So. I wanted to look at this and I'll be honest, as a Golden Girls and Betty White fan, I need to set aside all of that, how I feel about her or, you know, watching her growing up, what information I can to see what comes through regarding these allegations. So I need to set all that aside. And as I clear myself and I think about her and her life, I do get that there was something different or special about her. Language is really important and how we phrase things and what we think is really important. And what I thought was cool is as I actually was typing that and thinking about that sentence, I was reminded that special isn't always a word for good or bad, but just different. So when I say that she was special, it was almost like spirit was saying, hey, you got to watch your words here and know what it is that you're saying. And I first want to approach the claim that her and Barbara were sisters. And as I tuned into that, and I thought about that question. I saw a family tree emerge in my mind. I get that they're not sisters, but they're cousins. And I see the connection is through her paternal side. They interacted, saw each other at family events. And even though they were not close, they did have somewhat of a relationship. And then it was like I heard Betty's voice in my head. And she was saying something about that Barbara was too fancy and too proper for her. And that's why they never really were close. Then she went on to say, Barbara was more like Fiji water. And, and she said, I'm more like the tap, giving the contrast of how they were. And then I heard her laugh out loud. So that was kind of funny. And then regarding Alistair, he had connections to the family, but did not see a blood relation. I see Alistair being interested in Betty, especially at an early age, but I could not see that he ever had any personal interactions with her or her him, vice versa. I heard her say something about, I met him when I was a little girl and I didn't know who he was. He smelled weird and his clothes had a funny smell. That was the thing that she remembered about meeting him. She says, I felt scared and I would hide in different areas of the house when he would come around. My mom realized my uneasiness and eventually told him that he wasn't allowed to come over. So whatever the plans he had for her or someone had for her in regard to him, she was terrified of him and her mom actually protected her from him and nothing more ever manifested of that interaction. So that was interesting. Lastly, I wanted to look at the shot and I do get it as true that she had the shot and I get if they were to examine her, they would see that her blood was full of little clots and one made it to her heart. I do get that that was a valid, true statement, but I also get that they're never gonna disclose that because they don't wanna own it and they don't wanna put it out there. So all in all, that did look to be true. And that was all I had for this reading. Bless you, Betty. I have enjoyed you watching you as I grew up uh, from the 80s on watching the Golden Girls. So. I will leave all of you with that. Please feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to like and share my videos. It really does help me out. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.